This song will be number 287. There's a fountain free. If you want to use your book, you can be opening to that. We'll be singing that shortly. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Last time I was up here, I used my fourth through sixth grade class, and now I'm going to use the high school, college age class. So call me a cheater if you want to. But um, we're talking about prayer uh, this week. And to kind of begin our discussions, about it Sunday. I just went through the room and asked, what are some reasons that we tend to not pray or not pray as we should? There's some very good points brought out. Um, some of those listed were lack of faith in the hearer. Not feeling worth it. Not knowing how or not being confident enough to begin. Not knowing what to say. Forgetting to pray. Only praying when we need Him. And in our discussion, I, uh, I kind of confessed, you know, my, my main issue that, that I see in these was I tend to forget to pray. I get busy and I forget to, and I kind of, I just kind of just laid it out and said that that's where I'm weakest, and uh, we kind of just moved on. And later on that night and the next couple of days, I was thinking about that. Why? Is it really? And I got to think: is it is it really that I'm forgetting, or is it that I'm failing to determine to do so? Daniel predetermined to pray three times a day. Daniel 6 and verse 10. And he was so determined that even though his life was threatened by the king, he still did it. Nehemiah predetermined to pray in times of need. He was serving King Artaxerxes, their captor at the time. And he was down over the fact that Jerusalem lay in ruins. And the king saw that on his face and asked him, What do you desire? And in that split second before he asked his captor to leave his captivity and build the city they were taken from, he remembered to pray. Jesus regularly went off to pray. He also prayed in the presence of his disciples. Paul regularly spoke of prayers for those he was writing to. He even prayed for them while he was in the depths of the dungeons. I am failing to determine to pray. I think we all understand this evening the importance of prayer. That's not what I'm trying to get to. What I want to inspire you to do this evening is to find what is your weakness. Evaluate it. And fix it. Because without proper prayer life, we don't have the proper relationship with God. This evening, it may be, not be a problem of prayer, but we can fix it with prayer. Whatever issues you may be having in your walk with, with Christ, you have the need for the congregation's prayers, please come forward. If you haven't obeyed the gospel, you have that opportunity now. Come forward. Confess Christ as the Son of God. Repent of your sins. Be baptized. And begin that new walk. Whatever your need, come as we stand and sing. Amen.